ambrosia sweet corn ambrosia sweet corn i'm gonna plant five little rows about 60 feet i guess long each that's gonna be my tomato patch i hope i don't got it too hot with the soil um uh anyway and stuff i got mixed in there but um uh, some awful pitiful rows of course i ain't never been one known to making nice wonderful beautiful good looking rows and uh but anyway i got gonna be planting planting this ambrosia corn in here the sweet corn and um seed seed looks like like this let me see if I can get it to adjust in there. Do what? See if I can do a better, better job. Bear with me just a second. Let me see here and uh, get you a better picture of it. So the ambrosia sweet corn supposed to be super sweet. I've been planting G90, and um, anyway, they said this has the little white speck corn in it. Ever so far. And you got to plant this corn, it says, important, about two to three inches deep. And I'm putting about two to three pieces to the heel, just so, so much apart. And um, anyway, I, I hope we'll have some, some good results uh, in this. Drop a little bit of seed here, excuse me. I, I put some sulfur in the ground my ph was up and uh that's my fancy fertilized spreader boy if them things are beneficial my wife said they're a plague i collect them i got a barn full of them um i had a little bit of triple 13 left i just threw it in the ground and i took some um 8 24 and uh sewed down my rows and tilled it in good and then i took uh, this sulfur and put down it's granulated sulfur and uh, put that in my ground to get my pH down and uh, so that it'll be right for planting the corn this corn likes 6.0 to 6.5 on the pH um, there some of this green you see I tilled under some green onions um, that was still in the in the garden I planted some of you may have seen where I planted them green onions and and uh, some of them still in the ground. I didn't wait till they went to. I didn't wait till they went to seed. Um, uh, you got to wait a couple more months till the seed will die. Um, here's some some right here. And this is this is uh, all these little all these little uh, ends right here will make bulbs. And you take them bulbs and replant them. But you got to wait. I didn't see none just right here. Uh, let me see if I can find one where it's got, got a, yeah. You see this head on it right here? That head right there will uh, uh, make a flower. This is tough. This this piece right here is thick. Let's see here. I'll break it off. See that green onion right there? Let's see what I get through. It's thicker than the rest of them. It's thick. It makes that head. Uh, come on, get it to. Let me see. It makes that head right there. And that'll make a bloom. And in that bloom, in that bloom, uh, it'll die to turn brown. After it does that, take it and you put those put those seeds up. So that's my my seed. You see, there's three of them corn seeds there. Some of them I got three. Some of them, some of them I got two. You say, why did you do that? Well, I heard somebody say, one of the old timers said, said you plant one piece of corn uh, for the crow, one for the cutworm, and you plant one for you, because you want some corn. So you plant three, three pieces. Well, I hope y'all having a blessed day, and uh, we'll try to get back with y'all later.